it's not obligatory yeah, that anybody yeah, wants yeah. to have a go and have a practice in there and then we'll go out and put, change a few varieties. The method of grafting I'm going to demonstrate now is called rind grafting and it's not what they do in nurseries when they're making a new tree. This is specifically for changing or adding varieties to existing trees. So it's, it's putting a graft on a mature tree. So it relies upon the basis of you having, you know, sort of branches. So we'll assume that this is a prong. There is a thin green streak. You see that? You can see the difference between the wood and yeah. then you've got the rind and there's this little thin green streak. Is that cambium? That is the cambium layer. And that's where the cells that can generate new cells and can knit together um, occur. And basically the whole point Basically, carpentry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It is carpentry. And so, what? So we're just trying to get the cambium of one in contact with the cambium of the other. We then seal it up to keep the moisture and the sap in, and to keep rain and organisms, you know, bacteria or whatever, out. And then you just hope to luck that it's going to take. And you're basically right or left-handed in your preferred hand. You can then keep the knife still. You're not going to cut yourself if you keep the knife still. And you bite it in to the wood and you pull the wood. You don't pull the knife. You're holding the knife still and you pull the wood. So that's actually quite a nice, safe way of doing it. Um, that's the scions prepared like that. To prepare the stock, we just make a straight cut into the bark. Like that. Then... Sawn off teaspoon. <laughs> really? Is that what it is? That's what it is. It's a teaspoon <laughs> pen cut off and filed to a point. And I use that to lift the bark. And that lifts the bark really neat. You can get fancy grafting knives with things. Yeah. You, know, compared, you can spend 60 quid on a grafting yeah. knife with a yeah, little yeah. thing on the end that will do that. But actually a sawn off teaspoon, <laughs> you see, works perfectly well. <laughs> you then slide this into the slot, nice and gently. And the re one, one, of the, one of the things about doing it this time of the year, just as the sap is rising, is that actually raise, it, you can lift the bark really easily. If you do it while it's still dormant, the bark's much harder so to I lift. So that cut you did in, into... I, I just cut through the bark, okay. really, and you know, just, just literally. And that's, so so we're, we're now sliding that down into where the cambium is. And so the bud has gone down inside it. You leave what is called the church window oh. on that side. So a little, little gap there. Um, that, because if you slide it right in, what happens is when it heals up, you get bark included in the healing and you can get sort of rots and cankers occur with that. If you leave the little church window, that helps to avoid it. Church window. The church it's window, it's now. called, yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that sort of shape, yeah. Then, a bit of... This is grafting tape. Again, you don't need grafting tape. Electrician's tape works. Oh, yeah. PTFE tape works. You know, it doesn't matter. Anything stretchy and plastic. They used to do it with raffia. But that's actually quite hard. Much easier using stretchy plastic. Um, proper grafting tape... Um, just degrades, it's photodegradable. If you use electrician's tape or PTFE tape, you have to come and take it off after a couple of months. And then I'm just tying it in with that. That's what that's doing. That's sealing up that cut. And then, oh, that's going to be one that's going to break off. I can see that. I'll tuck the end in. You can actually use um, candle wax. I don't recommend you use pure beeswax because wasps eat it. Oh. And they are inclined to pick it off. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you can use... And then what we're trying to do there is seal up the cut on the end. And you want to seal... Also, you want to seal that church window. And seal around the back of there. So this is plumbing now, basically, what we're doing. We're... I'm trying to make a watertight seal. And I usually stick the end down because one of the things I have found is that blackbirds quite like 
grafting tape and we'll pick <laughs> it off <laughs> and include it in their nests. And then the last thing you do is you wax the tip. And then you go away and hope. Replace this or make it as a family tree. Make it as a family tree, yeah. properly, yeah. So, yeah. Um, do we want to kind of turn one side into the family? Yes, we could do. Yeah, rather, yeah. rather than yeah. trying. Yeah, no, that. And presumably slightly off horizontal is the yes, ideal. Yes, it's, it's yeah. ideal, so it sheds shed, 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 shed the water a little bit. Holstein's on that side. Have you got the tape? Four of them. Yeah, that's the tape. There's the tape. Oh, is that Longfield or not? No, that's uh, Chelsea. Oh, not Chelsea. Um, effective.